found these? Why? Do you know what they are? Screwdrivers? Yeah. Can we use them to carve our names in the rocks? Well, you could use them to carve your name in the rocks. But they're already kind of rounded over. That's... Like somebody's been using them to already dig in rocks. That's... Dad! What'd you do? What did you do? Well, Tommy gave me these. Tommy? At the museum. He said make sure the boys bring these on Monday morning. No way. Who's Tommy at the museum? He's in charge of the digs. <laughs> Monday morning. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, that's big. So my guess is this is probably turtle shell would be my guess. So do you want to start on this? Sure. Okay. Now what we're trying to do is the bone is fragile. Yeah. Okay. So we don't go under it and we don't lift it. What we want to do is come across the top of it and remove sediment. So probably... So what we want to try to avoid is having dirt just fall on top of the bone, okay? Now in this case, I think you can just pull these out of the way just fine. But if it's a bigger bone, you may need to put something like your hand or a pad to protect. Here these are loose, so I'm going to just pull these out right here, okay? Just come across the surface here. Brush some stuff away. And we want to know how far in does it go, okay? Mm -hmm. And so we can lift this piece, we can lift these, but eventually we want to get where we're lifting that. Mm -hmm. And that kind of stuff. We're going to start working back under it. Okay. Nothing down here. And as we get this across, we may want to come over here some or over here. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, Tommy. Yes, sir. Is it okay if I, like, use one of these screwdrivers and then tap it into the layer with the other yeah let me let me suggest though that rather than getting too much into that let's work this right here okay let's go down first okay, okay. and like right here i can just i don't mind you just doing that right there okay okay and i'll go through and i'll just loosen it oh okay and then we can just look see anything no 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 do it some more okay because here's what i want you to do is I don't want you to chase a bunch of stuff up here when I really want you to be down here. Okay. Okay. Tommy? Yes, sir. Um, I might have found a few fossil, fossil pieces because there's a couple right there that I think they're... I think that's just part of the sediment and minerals. So I and think you're fine. And then I got one right here. That All might right. be Pick it. Pick that up and hand that to me, please, sir. No, that's just clay. Probably here. a bone. Yeah, look right here. Oh. See the so, dark? That's yeah. the bone. <laughs> okay, Elijah, Good show call. us what you're working on there. What is, what did you find? What, uh, what's the... Uh, Tommy found what is bone, called bone. <laughs> yes. Uh, in this layer here. See, he called this the, the best layer, and that's what it is. This is plant yes. layer because it's soft. But this... And it does look like the rest of the Okay, so now what are your instructions now? I have to take off this top dirt and maybe even up here some. Okay. Without breaking the bone just to see where yeah. where it goes. Okay. Okay, so for the past 10 minutes I've been working on trying to find this corner right here. And I did. Okay. So now I need to go back into here more to see. Oh, that looks hard right there what you got. Yeah, but it's rock. I can okay. tell by the... Like the the reddish. So we're assuming stuff on it. that the top of the bone just keeps going parallel back in there, where, or that's what is typical. That's that's what it looks like. Yes. That's what your instructions are, huh? Yeah. Tell me what's going on here. So uh, we found a rock that kind of looks like a bone, and he said a way to test that it is bone is you stick it to your tongue, and if it sticks. It means it's porous, so it could be like the end of a bone, but if it doesn't stick, it could be rock. Okay, so show me why you think it's bone. Uh, it has that black texture to it, and it has um, a weird shape, but it could be just a rock. Okay. And then the real test is to stick your tongue on the rock, and it... I triple dog dare ya. <laughs> and it doesn't stick. So it's shiny, and that yeah. means it's probably rock. Yep. 
Okay. Here, tell me, tell me kind of what happened there. What was the... Uh, so Tommy was digging in this spot. He scraped that part of the rock and he's um so he so said, peeled off all at once yeah he peeled he it peeled off and he said one of you boys can work on it and elijah said i think i'll zeke i think i'll let zeke work on it and then i started digging up here and i found this little piece so i took a piece off of here and then this big one came in and now he can't so, stop working on it he's so loving now it. that's a that's a slow now we slow yes. down yeah. Now you got to think about how is the bone laying, okay? Mm -hmm. Now you've identified the possibility that it extends up here. Now look, this edge right here, the more you brush right here, the more you make this vulnerable right here, okay? So we want to try to stay out here. Let's stay off okay. the bone for right now. So we have to go like up. Now I'm going to take a quick look right here because I think you're right. I think it's laying that in there diagonally through a bunch of layers, isn't it? So yeah, wait, 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 so wait think big. about it. Think. It's laying at that angle. How much further could it go back up? If it goes back another inch or two, it may be up here, you know, in the wall. Yeah, so we have to dig so up here. So let's stay up nice and high, and we're going to create what we call an amphitheater, okay? So, Zeker, you want to point out what he just did there? What did uh, he do? So there's a crack right in the middle of this rock, and if we brush over here, it could, like, break on us really easily. So we put some of that lighter, um, kind of super glueish stuff to keep that thing together so okay. it doesn't break so and you now, but you think you found the edge of the bone is that what you yeah, were saying because it has like that line right here oh that jagged mm -hmm. part on your side there is where yeah. okay now what we're seeing is it looks like it's a very thin bone it doesn't mm -hmm. look like it goes very deep and so we're going to be very be careful with it i'm not saying it's necessarily turtle the other Bones that are thin on dinosaurs are sometimes pieces of skull. Oh, okay. And so until we get it out, it's hard to know really what we're dealing with for this sure. This might not even fit in my bag. So. Well, this might be one that sticks <laughs> at the museum, buddy. So we'll see when we get it out, and then we can talk about it afterwards, okay? Yeah. Okay. What have you guys been doing on this? Okay. Um, what we've been doing is we've been trying to expose the bone, get it ready for preparation so that we can take it out and we're going to wrap it in a piece of tin foil that's going to be kind of like our plaster jacket okay and um that's all we really know right now uh he did the little crack in the bone here yep. we did glue that so that it would stay together and so we're thinking this is the the full piece of bone right now this is You've got yeah. all the edges and it you found... It could go deeper, though. It could yeah. go deeper. Okay, okay. So you pulled that, you rolled it onto the tinfoil from back there, huh? There's a good chance this is going in the museum. <laughs> 